wonderful world of Brother Buzz. Looks like a pretty nice garden. I've never been here before. Yoo-hoo, Freddy Buzz! Oh, hi there, Busy. How did you find this place? Just by accident, I suppose. I was flying by, and I heard a strange sound coming from here, like something you'd hear at the zoo. Yeah, I heard it too. But we're miles away from any zoo, I, I think. Yes, indeed. But there's a nice house over there. I wonder who lives in it. I do. My name is Alfred. What's yours? Oh, well, hi there, Alfred. I'm Brother Buzz, and this is Miss Busy Bee. Hello, Alfred. Hiya, miss. Say, what brings you around here? Oh, I was buzzing by, and I heard a strange noise. So did I. Yeah, I know what you mean. But you get used to it after a while. Oh, do you hear it often? Oh, sure. Every time he gets excited. Well, who gets excited? <laughs> well, I was coming to that. Now, you won't believe this, and a lot of people don't, but there's a young lion living in that house. Oh, dear. Now, don't get excited. He's as tame as a kitten. Gosh sakes. A real live lion living in a house with people? Sure. He likes people. He lives with a family, just like a cat or a dog. And he likes me, too. He does? My stars, aren't you a bit afraid of him? Oh, not me. <laughs> we play games together. Oh, my stars, that sound again. Oh, it's just a young lion roar. Hey, would you like to see him? I sure would. Oh, I'm not so sure I want to. You've got nothing to be afraid of. He won't even know you're around. I'll take you through my secret passage over here. I'm game. Come on, Busy. See, you're still circulating. It's always a great privilege to welcome new blood. I thought a little music would cheer things up. <laughs> if you'll pardon the expression. I met my dear wife while they played this lovely tune. It was midnight, I recall. There was music in the night, and what lovely music. Have you ever heard the music of the creatures of the night? <laughs> they make strange music. Do you remember this, my dear? They were playing at your coming out party. My treasure replied. Ah, but I'm being a poor host. Permit me to show you our humble abode. Wait until I put the organ on automatic pilot. 
Oh, that's you, Skinny. Permit me to show you the picture gallery. As you see, I like to dabble in the arts. Won't you come this way? I like to show you a few of my favorite subjects. I mean, what is a house without a few nice pictures? This is one of my favorites. Kind of a fun thing, isn't it? At least he looks happy. <laughs> of course, there are pictures of friends and admirers everywhere. You must excuse such sentimental objects. Which twin has the tummy? <laughs> Only the tailor knows. I don't know if you remember these two, a great little art for P.T. Barnum. Excuse me, Igor, call the little one, would you please? <laughs> the little one, Carla, gets so involved sometimes she scarcely hears us calling. Ah, the dear child is playing with her dolly. Mm-hmm, good, steady heart to beat. been playing tricks on you again? Ha! I guess it's time for me to take over. No, that's not me there, but I'm gonna look like that someday when I grow up. Yes, I know. That's Zena there. Now, does she look scary? Of course not. I live with a wonderful and normal family. That's, that's them right there, the Levees. They like to have a little fun now and then with the folks who come to visit, you know, folks like you. You mustn't mind the joke. People are very playful, you know. Anton, uh, he, he's my owner. He works as a psychic investigator. And you know, you know what that is. That's a man who investigates reports of ghosts and spirit stuff. My master has had so many interesting jobs, I don't know where to begin. You know, he worked for the circus. That's right. He trained lions and tigers. And you know what else he did? He played the calapoo-poo. The calapoo the calipo the calliope. You know, that big organ that shoots out all the steam and makes that boop, 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 that kind of a sound. And while he was with the circus, Anton learned a lot about animals like lions and tigers, and I'm glad he did, too. After the circus, my master became interested in the world of the supernatural, you know, like ghosts and things like that. I'm proud to tell you that when there's a report of a ghost, my master goes right out on the job. Some nights he stays all alone in a cemetery or a haunted house. And you know what? He's not even afraid, no, sir. Anton is, is just going over some of his stories of the circus for the family. And you know, they're so interesting, we can listen to them again and again. And we frequently do. Well, now, I guess it's time for me to make my appearance. Ha! Ah, you've probably been wondering who's been doing the talking. Well, here I come. Hi, my name is Togar. Yeah, that's enough reading in there, boss. Here I come. Come on, let's wrestle. Gee, I haven't had any exercise today, you know. Oh, oh, I love to wrestle with them. It's so much fun. 
Now I got him. I got him now. I got him. Ow! He got me. Oh, well. There we go. <laughs> this, is, this is more fun than a barrel of monkeys, you know. Easy does it now. Come on. Huh, I'm tired. What you looking at, Skinner? <laughs> Gonna play some more now. Here we go. Get him right around with a full Nelson or something like that, you know. Watch it, fella. Watch it. I'm gonna get you now. Sit still. There we go. Ugh. Easy now. I'm just a I'm just a cub, you know. Now, there may be some people who feel that all lions should be locked up. But I'm glad to say my master doesn't. He, he takes me everywhere. Yeah, I sit right in the back there of the car while he drives. Right now, we're going to the supermarket. I love to go to the supermarket. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I, I want to go into the supermarket. Gee whiz. Uh-oh, here, here, here we go again. Now, would you look at that? What a tray of fish. I suppose I should be flattered, but I get kind of tired of all the goo-goo eyes, you know. Man, people sure, sure can look funny. Look at him. <laughs> Peaky boo out there. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy, I get to go to the supermarket after all. <laughs> Thank you. 
Boy, that, that was the most exciting supermarket trip we ever moved. Uh oh, here's a, here's a nice boy. He's probably got a lot of questions, too, like how long you're going to keep that lion cub? And how old is he? And is he dangerous? And you know, Anton has all the answers, too, like Anton and I are going to stay together for always, even, even when I'm a big lion. And I'm about a year old now. And I'm not dangerous, you know. But you must remember this about lions. We are, we are special animals. And just, just as every pet needs special treatment and care, well, that's, that's the same way it is with us lions, you know. If you're going to have a pet, that means, that means you're going to accept the responsibility of seeing that it is cared for and protected. Yeah. Well, the boss has forgotten something in the supermarket, so I'll wait in the sunshine. Boy, what a nice day. <laughs> Lots of sunshine. And it sure feels good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here, here, here comes that goofy guy. A little later that afternoon, the boss and I decided it would be nice to take a walk in the park. You see, it's good for me to get used to people, and there's people in the park, and it's good for them to get used to me. But I don't want you to get the idea that I don't like people, but, but as I said, lions are not usual pets, you know. And, and people, people who don't have experience with animals shouldn't get a special pet just to show it off. My boss has worked in the circus, so he knows about lions and, and he knows how to handle me in crowds. There are some people who are hard to get to know, though. There's no getting around that. Uh-oh, there, there's that goofy guy again. Oh. I guess he doesn't see me.
Well, now, this has gone far enough. If we can get this, this kooky guy to stand still for a minute, he might just find out that I'm not going to hurt anybody and that, that we can be real great friends. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Come on back here. Well, come closer. Come on. All you have to do is stick out your hand. There, now, see, there's nothing to be afraid of. Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Please remember what I told you about us pets, won't you? Animals are, are not to be treated carelessly. They're a real responsibility, even if it's just a little bitty pussycat, like my friend up there. Hmm. I wonder if there's room for me on his other shoulder. <laughs> My, you must have a lot of fun exploring a house like that. Oh, I sure do. I never know when I'm going to run into Togar. And then, boy, <laughs> the race begins. Well, what race, Alfred? It's a game we play, the lion and the mouse. I start to run, and he comes after me, and then I crawl into a hole, and Togar can't figure it out. Oh, dear, what if he should catch you? Oh, he'll just roll me over with his paw. And when he's taking a nap, I crawl up on his back sometimes, and he never moves. Well, it just goes to show you that any animal can be made into a household pet if he's trained early enough. And as long as people learn about them first and treat them the way that special kind of animal should be treated. I don't think I know just what you mean, Alfred. Well, if a family has a dog, they should learn all about dogs and take care of them the way a dog should be taken care of, right? Sure. And if the pet is a lion, he has to be treated like a lion. I see now. Uh-oh. I think it's Togar's lunchtime. I can always get a few scraps from him. Well, so long, Al. Goodbye, Goodbye. Alfred. And thanks for taking us around. Well, boys and girls, this is one of the most exciting experiences we've ever had. Now you know how to take care of a lion if you should ever have one given you as a pet. But no matter what kind of unusual pet you might have, whether it's a lion or a bow constrictor or an iguana or even a cricket, you must first find out all about the animal and give it the kind of care it must have. Also, boys and girls, if you have an unusual pet, tell us about him and send us a picture of it. Well, goodbye for now. Ciao,